Okay, so when you open your HMH, you can go to discover. When you get to discover, I'm not sure if you only have ELA, but um, we have the ELA math and reading. So make sure you change it to the one that you want. So for reading, um, you are going to go to, um, I like to open the module where it's teacher's guide. I kind of use my paper teacher's guide to kind of show me also like what I want to print. So the question was, uh, where can I print out the know it, show it books? And so I, um, I did see in my teacher book, this year I'm doing first grade. So I did see in my teacher book that my first know it, show it page is on um, T30. So I'm going to go to contents right here. I'll press T30. And um, right here, you'll see that it says know it, show it. I'm going to click that and that's going to take me to the sheet that is for the day. And as you notice, that's the first sheet. I like to print the entire week's worth. I put it in a packet and I uh, make it into a booklet with using a report cover. I've asked the children um, to bring sturdy book covers. So we actually recycle the book cover every um, week. So they take home the papers inside, stapled together, um, but I keep the um, the book cover for the next week. So, um, so what I'll do, if you notice when I open up this page, the entire module is here. So you have a choice. You can um, complete, the, you can print the entire module once you have it open. And then um, this module for my grade is three weeks. I know kindergarten is four weeks because I taught that last year. So um, you can print it as the whole module and staple it. Or like you could do a special thing at the beginning of the year, you definitely want to print week by week for the parents to see what you're working on. So I will print, so this is page one. As you can see right here, it says week one still. So I'll keep um, printing or I'll print the whole thing and then just um, make it into groups of week one, week two. So week one for me goes all the way to here, to this one to page um, 14 right here. And then I just press print, um, you know, page one through 14. Um, so just be careful because this one actually starts at page four. So you would say page, you know, well, I don't know how your printer works. So I'll show you how mine works. So mine is page one, it is actual one, even though it says four on there. So what I'll do is I'll say one through and then I'll count. Um, so it'll be 10 because um, that's where it started. So it would be the first 10 pages that are week one. I'll press print. Um, my machine's able to press, um, to do, um, to do staplers. Another thing you can do is put them in a binder so you can hole punch them, but you can have a whole, um, entire packet ready to go. So that's one thing. Another way to find things is actually to go through the resources. And this is where, and how I print out my writing workshop and my grammar. Kindergarten doesn't have grammar packets, but the rest of the grades do. So grammar pack has its own packet of lessons and its own right here. So one way you can do this, and the um, if you don't have my books enough for people, they're right here too. You can print them from there. Again, you go to all resources. Um, and then um, the Know It, Show It is not called Know It, Show It. If you want to go this way, it's called practice and application. And basically what you want to do once you open it, you tell it, okay, I'm on module one and ta-da, it'll show you um, all the stuff there. But I find it it's easier when I open it from the teachers, um, from the teachers resource, from teachers, the digital teachers um, lesson plan, but it's not the case for the writer's workshop nor the grammar one. So with that, I just open up. So this is teacher, you can always, um, what I do for this one is I open up the teacher um, lesson here, and then I find the first page that has um, that has the first worksheet, and I'll do the same thing as the other one. As soon as I open the first one, you'll be able to see the other one. So we'll see right here. This is a poster called the Split Engage. I think in page three for mine, see right here, writer's notebook. One, if I click it, then it will give me the entire packet for the module. So this one's about 10 pages on mine. Um, I know in kindergarten, it's a little bit more. And then the other grades, I'm not very familiar with, but it works the same way. Um, and then you will do the same thing with, um, go back to all the resources. You can go 
this way to discover all resources and do the same thing for grammar. And so what I do is again, I open up my um, my teacher no my teacher digital book and then you'll see oh this is um sorry this is uh, module two let's go back so just make sure that you're on the right module so module one let's see and then um <laughs> i'm hoping the wrong thing okay so you'll go to i let me go back um i'll say that i want module one and then it will have the um, information here. So um, let me just open one that I am familiar with. So obviously I keep opening two. So this is a way to go. If I know um, you can print, you can um, work on, like if you look at your grammar book and it has the title, then you can find it there for some reason I keep opening module two but it would be the same thing let's pretend I am on module two open up the uh, you can always find the way to do it is look at your teacher book you'll see the page right here so this is like w 24 and that's for um, module two and you can um, open it and then all your um, packets for that module will come up okay so that's the way to do it that's the, probably the fastest way I, I can show you how to um, do this. So I wanted to share with you. Hope it helps.